Daisy, can we just start with your, your overall thoughts on the performance? Uh, I was really proud of the way that we fought out the game. It was a disappointing first quarter and um, we knew we were playing against a really quality outfit in the Lions. It was going to be a, a big test. Um, we just couldn't get our hands on the ball or, or get many tackles. I think we laid seven tackles in the first quarter, which is below sort of we, what we've been averaging and what we wanted to get after. Um, but yeah, part of that was us sort of losing our shape ahead of the ball and um, in, in almost desperation of trying to stop the bleeding around the ball, we, we lost our shape around the ground and as good sides do, they, they just were able to carve through us really. Um, but after quarter time, I thought our ability to get our hands on the ball more, um, you know, win that territory battle at times for big chunks of quarters um, and, and maintain our pressure on, on them was much better, which I was proud to see our fight. Um, that's something that we're learning more and more about our group is, um, yeah, their ability to respond and keep turning up and keep wanting to play the next moment is something we've put a lot of work into and I think they showed that today. Did you change much structurally in that fourth quarter to, to try and get that breakthrough? Um, oh, we, changed, we started the game trying to go after a few of their, um, you know, real damaging players, but um, the trouble with that is others pop up. So. Um, after half time we kind of stripped it right back and just tried to go one on one and um, keep it simple and beat our own opponent rather than um, you know structurally trying to get after some of their real strengths and some of their strong players um, so that was the major change the fourth quarter um, oh, we just went after trying to win the quarter in, on a similar vein of just trying to beat our opponent one on one um, continue to, to play out the, the, the quarter and try and jag one against a, a quality opposition Sophie McDonald obviously failed that head injury assessment. Have you got an update on her? No, nah, Soph's okay, but she's entered um, concussion protocols, which is um, a shame for Soph. Uh, it's a shame when anyone gets concussion, but given that she's missed a bit of the season so far with the, the same um, concern, you know, we'll, we're hopeful Soph's okay. And the good thing is she's um, walking around and doing okay right now. But um, yeah, we'll get more information on it dur during the week. And Jess French had a cork, I think. Yeah, just a corky. Yeah. Of time off, she's okay. Yeah, just a corky. She was keen to get back out there. She's a competitor, Wrenchy, but um, yeah, given she was pretty sore and had, she's done a, a heap of work for a first year player for us over the last um, month or the whole start of the season. So, with that little concern, it was just an opportunity to try and um, take take the load off for her and start thinking about next week. You were in the same boat as Brisbane, but how do you feel like you handled the, the compressed fixture? Um, all in all, I think we, we handled it pretty well. I mean, we picked up a few injuries along the way that put a, a, a kind of stretch on our, our list, but some of those were contact injuries, broken fingers and um, a couple of concussions, so not all of them preventable. But in terms of management, I felt like, um, you know, we were able to manage our weeks well and take the the load out of our training and then perform well in two of our three games and today I mean Brisbane are the, the best in the competition in terms of their work rate and their their fitness across the competition that's the they set the benchmark that we you know I'm sure I haven't spoken to our girls yet but I kind of step back and go all right that's the benchmark let's keep getting to work and I think the pleasing thing being um, after a really good start from them and us being a little bit off the pace to be able to fight through it and kind of keep going with them and maintain our pressure despite condensed fixture, losing a couple of rotations um, in the game. I thought that was really good. Was there an issue with Zoe Wackfer late in the game? Yeah, she got just tangled up in a tackle. So I think a lower leg, um, I'm not sure exactly what it was. They were having a look at her ankle and knee, but um, she's walking around as well and seems in pretty good spirit. So hopefully it's not too, too serious and she doesn't miss any footy, but it was just a, a, a late quarter tackle. How's your injury situation overall? It, it seems like you might be cutting quite deep into your list now. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a few, and like I said, a few of them, all different variety of injuries, and, um, you know, it's part of footy, but the condensed fixture maybe, you know, it just doesn't give you the time to kind of get numbers back, but it, it, in the good news, we'll get a couple back this week, I expect. Um, Abby Bushby should be available. Um, who else? Sasha Goranova will go close. Roxy Roo will be available with her hand if all goes well this week. So um, it'll be good to get some troops back. Are you almost looking forward to, to just having a proper 
sort of week now and, and being able to put those five day breaks? Um, it'll be good to be able to practice. That's probably the best thing. I mean, the girls have loved being able to, and, and we have too as a whole program. Like we're in this game because we like playing footy. So um, yeah, while it's a challenge and y y you will learn from the, the experience of doing it if it's a th thing for the future, but um, yeah, the, the opportunity to keep backing up and playing footy is what we all love. So. Um, that side of it isn't an issue. It's probably more just, you know, off the back of um, that game where Brisbane's given us heaps to go away and work on. It'll be great to have two training sessions where we can um, do a bit more in terms of continuing our learning and going after it. How did you feel you went um, sort of having that focal point up forward today with Amy Franklin out? You sort of rotated a rock through to try yeah. and get that height up there? Yeah. Um, oh, that was more... So we had Georgie Cleaver as a forward and then Lauren Wackfer, who competed really well at times. Georgie, we had to pinch to go back when um, Soph came out of the game. Um, but those two are, um, you know, quality young key position forwards that will continue to develop and a big part of our, our future. Um, the puddles one, uh, Sarah LeKay going forward, Tess Lyons was doing a great job in the ruck, so we just wanted to extend her ruck rotation um, and we were a few rotations short in our forward line, or they'd done a, a bit of the heavy lifting, so to have Sarah down there just gave us another look and, um, yeah, just to get rotations through our forwards. But she did a good job, provided a contest, um, kicked her first goal. Um, but Tess was a, you know, we speak about the injuries and having to go right down deep into our list to have a injury replacement player that joined us late in the season go out and compete the way she did was um, a real positive. You mentioned Brisbane's work rate right across the ground. Was there anything else at, at first look where you thought that's something that, that they're doing better than anyone else at the moment? Oh, their work rate's probably their trademark, but then their fundamentals as well. Like, you know, when we, we, we kind of kept turning the ball over and part of that was because structurally we, we were giving them a, a plus one um, behind the ball. Um, but they, they punished us with that because of their skill level and fundamentals. Um, you know, despite our pressure, they were still able to execute skills. I think they went plus 55 uncontested possession, just with their ability to be able to chain up and go the length of the field, um, running in numbers because of the fitness level they've got. But they're probably the two things. There's no secret, so to speak. It's just, yeah, their, their work rate from years on years on training at a really elite level and then Fundamentals, no doubt, are the same. The standards that they must have in terms of how they train that is, yep, something that that we're really working towards, and we've taken big steps towards, and we'll we'll keep keep going, keep learning.